with the TikTok algorithm, we talked a little bit about it. Okay. Um, but I'm going to show a quick video on some of the things that you need to consider when um, using for TikTok. So yesterday we talked about a couple of things with growing your TikTok, like, you know, making sure you niche down, okay, posting at the right times, um, using other people's content, right, putting yourself side by side, using Duet or stitching part of their a video to the beginning of your video, okay? So you want to intrigue people within those first few seconds and that will do it, okay? Especially if you have a unique perspective. Um, we talked about participating in challenges, jumping in on trend sounds and songs because um, the platform will highlight your information better and then making sure you cross-promote your TikTok on other social media. So those were some of the things that we talked about yesterday. Um, this video was going to talk about a few more things. So if you have your notes, make sure you, um, you know, write down what this blogger is going to tell us about YouTube, about TikTok. OK, so I already have this video up. Let me go in and just bring it over. OK, and this is all about the TikTok algorithm. So it's basically about how to get your your new TikTok page, if you're just starting on TikTok, how to get more followers, basically how to showcase your content and grow your page. Okay, let me make it bigger. And you know what? I'm going to stop share and then reshare. So that way I can make sure that you can hear the sound. I'm optimizing it for sound. All right. So this is about four minutes, 30 seconds. Know about the TikTok algorithm in 2022. There's a lot to go through, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. And make sure you watch till the end because I'm giving you three tried and true ways to hack the algorithm and go viral. As you know, the TikTok algorithm algorithm is complex. Questions like, how does TikTok decide which videos get pushed on for you pages? How come some videos go viral and others don't? How often should I be posting? How long should my videos be? There are so many questions about how TikTok works, and to be honest with you, TikTok is still pretty hush-hush about the algorithm. But they have given us some breadcrumbs here and there, aka some important details like what factors do influence the algorithm. So there are six main factors that influence it. Number one, video likes, comments, shares, completions, and rewatches. The more engagement a TikTok gets, the more likely it'll be served to larger audiences. And a little bit later on in this video, I'll give you some tips on how you can encourage completions and rewatches. Number two, subject matter. TikTok categorizes content based on user interests, so subject matter is an important factor when it comes to reach. Number three, device settings. The algorithm recognizes certain device settings like posting locations and language, typically sharing local content. Number four, audio. Audio trends are massive on TikTok, so when a video includes a trending sound or song, the more likely it can be served to a larger audience. Number five, hashtags and caption keywords. Including hashtags and keywords in your content lets the algorithm know what your video and page is about. Number six, user activity and not interested feedback. And lastly, the algorithm aims to serve high interest content to each user, and it uses previous activity to determine what's best. With those factors in mind, I do have a few ways that you can hack the TikTok algorithm and boost your views. Just remember that the TikTok algorithm is always adapting, changing, and learning from user behavior. And because it is still a relatively new platform, a lot of what works best is gonna come through trial and error and also experimenting. But here are three tried and true ways you can hack the algorithm. One, hook your audience within the first three seconds. Like I already mentioned, when a user watches a video in full, it lets the TikTok algorithm know that people like this content and they want to watch it. TikTok tends to favor videos that are easy to digest, have a seamless loop, and cater to users who have a short attention span. Knowing this, you want to hook your audience right away, specifically in the first three seconds of your video. TikTok is an endless scroll, and users are quick to jump to the next video. Try hooking your audience with a question right off the bat, or use on-screen text to tease what you're about to tell them. Two, focus on a niche. We've learned this hack firsthand from experience, growing later's TikTok. If you aren't already following us on TikTok, by the way, what are you doing? 
I'll link it in the description below. Anyway, the more you share videos related to your niche, directed at a specific audience, the more the TikTok algorithm will recognize it and begin to push your videos to the right people. What content themes resonate with your target audience? Is it beauty tutorials? Maybe it's dating advice, comedy sketches, reviews? Once you decide your content themes, experiment using industry-specific hashtags. I'll use later for example. We typically share hashtags like hashtag social media tips, hashtag social media manager, and hashtag Instagram news. Including those hashtags essentially tells the algorithm, hey TikTok, look over here. Our account shares tips and tricks for social media managers. Please show our videos to those users. Three, use on-screen text and captions. To ensure users are watching your videos the whole way through, make sure you're including on-screen text for every single video you put out. It's easy enough to do and the benefits are just beyond. Not only does it help people who are watching without sound, but it's also helpful for those who are hearing impaired. Plus, TikTok has an automatic captions feature so you don't have to spend time transcribing your videos yourself. I also want to note that TikTok videos have a very long shelf life. A video you post may go viral a few days, weeks, or even months after you originally share it. Now, I didn't fully get to touch on how to go viral on TikTok in this video, but if you want to learn one influencer's secret and how she's gained over 4 million followers on social media, you can just click here to watch that video. See you later. This is every All right, so those were a few of the gems on how to how the TikTok algorithm works. Okay, so what were some things that you picked up from the video? So post them in chat or come off, uh, raise your hand so you can use your device and mic. Think about what are you doing already and what are some things that you would add based on just the suggestions from this video. Now, that was done by later um, later dot com. Later is also so a social media management platform as well, just like Food Suite that we talked about yesterday. Um, so you can check that out too to kind of gather all of your social media in one to help you post on a schedule uh, so that you're not, you know, trying to post individually every single day, one by one. All right. So what were some things that you all took away from that particular um, video? Okay, using captions. I know I've asked about captions before. I'm like, hey, I don't get those there. But you see, it's already embedded in. So definitely use it. Using hashtags, all right? Because a lot of times when people are looking at these things, sometimes they're in places where they can't talk, right? So um, utilizing that so that we can see it on our phone and we can just see it. And we may not be able to listen to the music or whatever because you can't have your headphones in. So it just depends, right? Plus, it also reaches an audience who may be hard of hearing or deaf. Uh, so that helps as well. So a lot of times I don't think people think about that audience. But being that I used to do sign language at my church, so that's I think about that a lot sometimes. All right. Um, have a good hook. Yes, those first three seconds are very important, right? Having a product that catches the viewer's eye. Good, okay? So you definitely want to catch it because, you know, when you're scrolling, you're just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You tend to, I know, I guess I do it too. I scroll and then, you know, I have to, something has to stop me. Something has to stop me in the scroll because sometimes I'm just, Scroll, like, 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 likes, and then I just keep going and I keep going. So definitely having something that's going to, you know, catch your, catch that attention. And a lot of times having the text on the screen too will help because if you're scrolling and you just see something, you know, really big, it's going to, you know, help you. It's just going to help you to stop. 